good shape. Your weekly dose of health information on Deutsche Welle. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on in good shape. My guest in the studio is a trained osteopath, Albrecht Kaiser. Thank you very much for joining us today. Hello. Mr. Kaiser, what kind of conditions can you improve through osteopathy? There are very different conditions which you can improve it. I give an example. For example, whiplash injury, you know, caused by an accident, you have an acute and also chronicity in the whiplash injury. Both of them, for the acute situation and for the chronic situation, osteopathy means to be appropriate to be treated with. So that's a structural damage. Right. What about other conditions? Um, what are the limits of osteop osteopathy? Let's talk about cancer or diabetes, these sort of conditions. Can you improve them with osteopathy? You can influence them in the same of a better life quality by treating the symptoms around them. But there is no chance to treat cancer with osteopathy. Okay. Let's find out more about how osteopathy works. We've had many viewers writing to us on that topic. One of them was Margot Brachholz from Chile. She's written in to ask, what exactly is the difference between osteopathy and massage or chiropractic? They're both or they're all manual therapies. Massage and chiropractic are specialized on the one single aspect to treat locally. Osteopathy takes a whole as, for example, a wrapped origin. So you have an interrelation between the origin from feet to the head and you use to treat all the systems in between. Osteopathically. All right, so massage, you train one strain muscle. Right. Osteopathy, you work with that interconnection of organs and all body parts. Explain, how does that interconnection work? Can you explain that on an example, please? I, for example, I give you the jaw, the temporomandibular joint, and you have an irritation there. The x ray, nothing shows, often correlation, um, and you use to show all through the aspects of stat static differences between feet, whole body and the jaw, and you treat them by the feet mm -hmm. to get a new balanced system in the jaw. Well, feeling tension in the intestine or stimulating a nerve, that's things an osteopath might do. It seems unusual as a, as a patient, it's hard to believe that could work. How, how do you work with that? How does that work? This is um, the osteopathic professional qualification to do it, to go with your fingers called palpation deep into the structure of the body and to be able to visualize what is wrong there or what is right there and to differ between illness and normal situation there. And this is this what you do as an osteopath. And it takes years of training to learn that, I believe. Yes, a lot of learning. Five years going on college for osteopathy or university and then the world long life training. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, osteopathy uh, is a holistic sort of treatment. How is what you do different to what a classically trained doctor might do? One of the aspects is how you see the individual, the being person as a whole, as a closed, something like a pharmacy in yourself and you stimulate this pharmacy, which is represented by your body, um, by doing osteopathy. To be a cons consultant, um, you use medication from outside. You don't use medication from outside as an osteopath, for example. Mm -hmm. So when you speak about that pharmacy we all carry in our body, you speak about self-healing properties, I believe. Um, that's an important part of osteopathy to activate them, right. those self-healing properties of the body. How do you do that? How do you use them? Yes. If, if you see if there is any stasis, for example, um, a system who doesn't work quite well, you use this during pal palpation, you palpate him, you work with it, with the structure, to be able, the structure, to reorganize in the whole body system again. That's one of the main aspects of it. Okay, so you get that flow going, let's say that way. Um, is there any way I can activate my own self-healing properties in my life? Sure. Um, all the aspects you need is to be in touch um, with your inner healing, to be touched um, with your own system by doing some massage on your body and especially that's that's the way it works but it's not a specialized like osteopathy is specialized mm -hmm. so well but listening to your body right. might be a first step there all right and for all other things go and see an osteopath well thank you very much for being our guest today thanks thank you very much